Hi guys. So today I'm really excited about this because I finally found the Char Puff Pastry Dough and I've been looking for it everywhere. So to celebrate, I'm going to make some sausage pastries and we're going to use a mild Italian sausage that's already ground up. And then along with that, we're going to put in some kale for a little bit of green, some red onion, some green onion, and then we are also going to put in some cheese. And before you start this, you want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. So that mixture is starting to look great. You just want to make sure that everything is blended. Perfect. And so then what we're going to do next is we're going to cut our pastry into four squares for each sheet. We're going to get a bit of that filling. About a golf ball sized. Put it right in the middle. And then I've got some homemade spicy basil pesto. And just put a little bit of that on top. And we're going to wrap these almost like a little present. And so these are going to be perfect for a snack, you know, a light lunch, um, even if you wanted to have it with you know, some cheese and crackers. And yes, the pastry is just great to work with. And now that I've found it, I'm so happy that I'm gonna be able to kind of experiment a little more and make a few more things. It's been a while since I've been able to play with puff pastry, so hopefully these are gonna turn out well. All right, and then once we get the last couple finished up, we are gonna put these guys into the oven. And before putting them in, I'm going to give them a light dusting of olive oil just to make sure that they get a little bit golden brown and have that great crunch. Okay, so these are out of the oven. They've been cooking at 400 degrees for 40 minutes. And as you can tell, they have a great crunch, but the filling inside is still moist. Thank you for watching my video. And of course, like and subscribe for more content. You can also find me on Instagram at Miley's Menu. There I post a lot of drink pictures, food pictures, anything. So hope to hear from you soon and until next time.